I have a tiny music box mechanism, no box. It's hard to hear in the air because it doesn't couple well with the air. The impedance mismatch is such that it's very faint and it doesn't have much energy. Those tines are being plucked and moving plus or minus 0 0.1 millimeter. But note that the tines do go down to 500 hertz in frequency response. So down to the, you know, mid range. It's not much energy, about as much as a, a tweeter might energize um, a, a cone. In fact, more energy than that, but uh, it is playing down to 500 hertz. Notice what happens though when I couple it to my desk tabletop. So now the entire desk tabletop is moving a few billionths of a meter, but it's producing, it's amplifying, it's moving back and forth pistonically just like a loudspeaker and increasing the amplitude of these tines by about 27 dB. That kind of energy can move a cabinet, right? A speaker cabinet? This loudspeaker is uh, from the 80s when I had a high-end store. I really like them. They're from uh, Sweden, Round of Tears, and this is cast concrete. So it has a small void for the tweeter in the mid-range and a small port and um, crossover network, but it's cast concrete. It's about 35 pounds, and you can hear it's super inert. Let's take this and see what happens when we put it on the loudspeaker cabinet. So yes, <laughs> concrete moves. And it's not a reflection. If I lift it off, you can't hear it or barely hear it. But if I put it on the cabinet, there you go. Even if it's solid concrete, a lot of mass, very inert, it still vibrates. It'll still transfer energy into the structure.